Okay, this is Balazs again, and um, today I'm going to show you an example of uh, advanced hierarchies and how to utilize them. So we want to create an extrude nerves, a spline mask, and two rectangles. I'm going to take the spline mask, the two rectangles to the spline mask, and the spline mask to the extrude nerves. I will rename this outer, and this will be the inner one. This spline mask should a work in a mode a subtract b. And uh, I also want to set uniform distribution of points and I want both of those to be 100 and the radius should be 25. What I also want to do is I want the inner one to be smaller and uh, there you can see that little effect. And what I want to adjust here is I want to use a null object and I will place the extrude nerves under it and command and drag and I will make copies of this extrude nerves. So right now I have four. And let's go to Expresso. And we want to adjust these outer and inner rectangles for all of these objects. And what I will do here to get to get here, I will use I will use iterators. I, I mean hierarchies. And what I want to do here is um, for the first one, I'm going to go down and next and uh, the reference will be the null object. So it goes down here one and find these four objects. The second one will mm, will find, so basically they will start this at this extrude nerves, go down one level and output this spline mask. And the third one will be going starting at the spline mask, will go down one and output the two outer and inner rectangles. And that will be our outer and inner rectangles, which we will set. So to see how things working, I'm going to enable counts here. And also I'm going to use results. And as you can see, I have four objects here, one object here, and also two objects here. And right now this won't work. And why? Because when we paste a new node here, it will get to the top and we want our hierarchy to be at the top otherwise it, it will say that it can't run and right now this works and uh, I want to have the order okay right now I have the, um, a good order of uh, stuff happening here and I can uh, show you that right now what we will want to set we want to set the height the width of the object and also the radius and I'm going to come and uh, click here so I can see this better and also I'm going to use 100% of zoom okay so right now what I want to do I will delete these result boxes and I want to have index numbers for all of these hierarchies and to do that I'm going to need object indexes for this one this will be my index number and for this one this should be my index number and what I want to do here is I want to have a uh, uh, logic condition here and I want my index numbers to decide which object, the outer or the inner one, will I set. So basically this is the zeroest object, so index is zero for that object and index is one for that object. So if I make something like this, this should do the trick for me. So right now this hierarchy will decide which object to set, the first one or the second one on index values the zeroest one or the first one also what I want to do is I want to use math nodes and I want to want to have two of those and I want my index numbers there and I will add uh, one here let's say I will add two here and I will add one here and what I also want to do I want to have two of those as well and I want to multiply and I want to multiply with these index values that I have just got from this the extrude nerves so the four elements will be 0 1 2 and 3 and I will add 2 and 1 so 1 and 0 1, 2 and 1 3 and 2 and this is how it will iterate and after that r right now I know that this is the larger number this is the smaller number and if I made everything correctly I should have four different elements and uh, one thing I didn't do is that the multiplication 
I want my input to be around 50 and this should do the trick for me and right now what I have is I have uh, different objects which are not intersecting and to show you a little bit better I'm going to create user datas I want to do open close float slider I also want to have radius I want to have one for extrusion and uh, I want to have one which is a let's say an integer number from 0 to 100 and this should be a slider as well and let's say this should be called offset so I have my four different user datas now and I can go back to my original Expresso tag so I'm go going to go to extrusion going to set offset I want to have the open close parameters and I also want to have the radius and I'm going to double click here with the command button to see everything so what I want to do I want to set the radius how I want to set it I simply want to use a mass node and I want want my condition output and also my radius output and I want to have only half of it since this is how we calculate radius for a rectangular object and what happens now or should happen okay right now I have circles and if I enable this radius okay I messed something up I accidentally added them I really need to multiply those and this should do the trick for me okay so right now I have a slider to do this one and uh, as you can see they are never intersecting since we are we are we are setting the inner and the outer objects for each of those so I have the radius enabled for now let's go to the next one we want an open and close and how we can do that we will use a range mapper and we will use that open close as the input and the output lower and the upper should be this object and this one so basically the two calculations we have already made and I want my, want to control my inner object with this so I will put this, put this here and if I made everything correctly what I can do now is I can open and close my my little thing I don't know what, what, what is it yet but it can definitely work so I can open and close it and I can set the radius and notice that they are not ins intersecting or anything like that and of course the great thing with an iterate iterator setup is that now I can make any number of copies I want and uh, another good thing is that I always have the same gaps between those objects and as a quick tip I would like to say use the enable filter on the view options so you can select all of the rectangles for, for example and you can boost up the points to be around 20 so all of your all of your edges are pretty you might want to use that but uh, I will delete some object for now because I, I have things to do basically I need the extrusion to do to, to be done and the offset the offset is very very uh, easy to do because what we want to do here is we simply want to use this index and we are going to input one here and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to connect those and for this one I'm from now on I'm going to add only one and for this one I'm going to add zero so I can delete this port and what I what we have just created is an offset which is similar to the one on the expresso on the cloner so this is this is how this is working so you can enable or disable the gap there if you want to but you can set negative number you should be able to so I will say and the slider should start at zero okay so I can do this either way and also what I should do one and zero and if I add one offset there should be no gaps there but there is 17 how's that number is being calculated
Okay, I don't know why this happened. But uh, the script still works, of course. I just wanted to show you something, but somehow it, it doesn't work for now. But let's say, let's say we're ready with these three things and uh, we have to do the extrusion. So right now we are using two iterations already. So basically we are getting advantages of this hierarchy and this one as well. And this is just basically a simple output so it can go down another level. So what I want to do next is uh, I want to finish with this extrusion. And it, this is a real value as well so I should use a range mapper here. And what, uh, what uh, I should do here is I will have this extrusion and uh, I will want to use 20 as the lowest number and uh, also I will need to multiply this number mm, to multiply this number with the index number but I want the index plus 1 so I'm going to create another node for this and I'm going to delete this port and I will have this to be 1 and then the last thing I need to do to have my extrusion enabled I need my object and I need to connect it to this hierarchy here because this is what makes the extrude nerves objects so basically this one goes through all of these extrude nerves objects so if I want to set the extrude nerves objects I have to use this object port here and I want to use movement Z and I simply want to drag those two together and if, if I made everything correctly then uh, it, it should work but right now okay this is working very good so as you can see right now what this is doing that uh, on every index value it will it will uh, it will extrude more and more and uh, you can combine this with the offset of course if you want to but also what you can do is that you can um, basically if you want every object to be on the center because right now on one side they are aligned and on the other they aren't so if you want to fix this you just simply need to use this uh, position Z value and you want to use this as a base so basically what you want to do here is you want to offset your position based on the movement Z on the extrude nerves so you need to connect those together and then multiply it with 0.5 and then paste it in and uh, what happens now is that they are more not aligned of course and this is why this is because you need to have a negative number here because you want to counter set these things so right now everything is at the center so I hope you learned something new from this and uh, now you know that you can use three hierarchies and they are working pretty well basically right now we're using two index numbers to calculate the outer and inner ones and also we're setting different parameters for for uh, for object based on this index number but we're also setting the object based on the index number of of the extrude nerves object so as you can see this is working very neatly and uh, I, I it took some time for me to realize that this is working so I hope you find this tip useful or this tutorial or I don't know what it is right now but uh, let's ext extend, extend it a little bit more this is right now 24 minutes let's say five more minutes of talking so what I want to do here I want to use a delay effector for example and I want to delay the points and I want springiness and of course if I go to my espresso this node will be yellow and why this is yellow because it got an object which it can't handle because for this delay there are no movement that Z user data so keep in mind that the hierarchy is still working so it will set every every nerve every extrude nerves here at every frame but uh, right now this delay makes it uh, yellow because it 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 it, it 
it says that I can't uh, do all what you want me to do, basically. So let's see if our springiness, so our delay effector is working. And uh, it, this works very great, I think. So this is how you can combine, for example, from 0 to 100, or this one. So y you can do pretty neat stuff with this. And keep in mind that you can always make more objects inside. And as the last thing, what I would like to show you, use, go to the hierarchy here and say you want to use the start position. And um, I will delete some objects. And I will delete this delay effector as well. And uh, I will use a cloner. And then I will I will you do the um, I will I mean I will ex I will put the extrude nerves onto the cloner. This was very hard to say for me. And then I see I have seven elements, so I will make seven copies. And I don't want any movement. I just simply want my script to work for now. And as you can see, this is working. But I need to set this expresso tag here. So I can double check if everything is okay. The extrusion is fine. The offset is fine, the radius is fine as well, and the open close is fine. So I have everything working and right now you can start using uh, effectors on the cloner and you can have pretty interesting effects. So for example, on the z-axis we should make some movement. And uh, this is all I wanted to show you for now, so this is 20 minutes. And um, of course you can also do coloring and other stuff as well. But uh, you should note that you can every time use another two shapes here, or not use a spline mask at all. But now you know how to use multiple hierarchies. So this was the purpose of this quick tip or tutorial or something like that. So have a great time exploring Cinema 4D and thanks for your time. Goodbye.